this is issue 48 of the Eagle Moss series Star Trek the official Starships collection. This issue was USS Voyager, a different version of the model. This was with the armor, which if you have seen the final episode you know what I'm talking about. Again, released in 2015, CBS Studios Incorporated, licensed to Eagle Moss. Again, one of the better stands, more stable. This is the actual ship. You can see there is basically no detail. It's just grey because of the armor. So there's not really much to talk about. The warp nacelles. The saucer section. The bottom part with the deflector, again warp nacelles, and the detail view of the deflector. So there's not really much to tell because it looks pretty lame to be honest, I never liked this one. But it looks okay when it's on the stand. Now, maybe you remember that one of the very first models released was the normal version of USS Voyager, so here are their two models side by side. Maybe you notice that uh, the original model has a different stand, so it appears to be higher. Not sure if it's visible from this angle. The new one is slower. And now you can compare them side by side. They look basically the same. But of course the original version has all the details and all the paint job. The new one is just grey flat. And the original is even less stable. Now the magazine. This is the Automart version of the USS Voyager, issue 48. Begins with the table of content and the specification. Now an article about the actual Automart model. It appeared in the final two-part episode of Voyager. Now, details about the ship from different angles. And face to face with the Borg Queens. An article about the two actresses who played the Borg Queen. Not sure if it was the one Borg Queen or if there were multiple Borg Queens. The 
but for me the Borg Queen was the beginning of the end of the Borg. They were much more scarier and dangerous before Star Trek First Contact. Now the key appearances was just the episode Endgame and we'll have the fortunate 